These machines gather cane by cutting it at its root. Trucks at the mill dump their loads on a receiving table. First, the cane's rigid structure is broken down inside this crusher, which is revolving hammers to split it into little pieces. A belt conveyor transports the cane through to different washes. Conveyor transports it to a milling unit, which extracts the delicious juice. Cane is milled in a tandem of five or more consecutive mills. Large cylinders compress the cane fiber. Juice flows out of the milling cycle and into a channel away from the bagasse, which is the dry pulp left over after the juice is extracted. The mud will fertilize the cane fields, while the leftover bagasse will be burnt for fuel. It is then placed in a high-speed centrifugal machine to separate the sugar crystals from the uncrystallized syrup dot inside. The sugar spins at 1200 revolutions per minute. Drawing the molasses to the machine's outside shell while keeping the crystals in the inner basket. Water cleanses the crystals and the water is sucked out, leaving just the crystals. This centrifuge absorbs moisture from the sugar in the same way that a washing machine's spin cycle dries your clothing. The sugar crystals are then transferred from the centrifuge to a conveyor belt. The mill produces both rice sugar, which contains more molasses and is unbleached, and plantation white sugar, which has less molasses and is bleached bright white. 